Hi, I'm Tim. I'm one of the account managers here at Tower Systems. Um, I've had a few customers recently inquire about the serial number uh, tools we have built into the system. So I thought, what better way to showcase it than do a quick video walking through exactly how it works. Um, serial numbers is really popular amongst our firearms customers, bike shops, jewellers. Um, we're finding garden centres are using it for certain things. Um, it's really become quite, quite popular. Um, and it's standard in the packages for all of those industries. Um, really easy to use, really simple to set up. There's some information on our website in the knowledge base if you do want to activate it, but look to give you a, a quick and simple rundown on how it works, I'll, uh, I'll walk you through it. Um, there's two mechanisms for it. So if I jump into my point of sale, um, you can track serial numbers either simply at the time of selling the product. So if I was selling a safe, for example, and I just want to record the serial number against the customer that purchases it. I can go safes, it's the spiker and it's the large. Um, when I sell that product, I've got it set to bring up an image. Obviously it's gonna be a bit tricky to bring a safe like that up to the counter, which is why I navigated through those touch screens buttons to get through it. And that's why I've got an image set. So I can look at that and I can go, yep, that is absolutely the right product. I'm gonna add that to the sale. When I wanna put the serial number against that product, I don't have any pre-saved in here. So I can simply go add serial number. I'd go over to the safe or check it out the back and I'd go, yep, the serial number for this customer is uh, S678. And I can add that in and I can select that one and then I can put that against the transaction. So I can then continue through, choose the customer, finalize the sale and that's done. Um, I'm just gonna cancel this sale. The other method for managing serial numbers is to track it from arrival to sale. So uh, firearms is a really good example of this one. So if I've got my Ruger Precision here, for example, when I get that into stock, I wanna record the serial numbers of exactly what I'm getting in. So that way at any point, I can run a report on the firearms I have in store and it'll show me, yep, I've got the Ruger Precision, I've got nine of those, and these are my nine different serial numbers. And then when I come to sell that product, if I select Ruger Precision, now I can scan it, I could use my touch screen buttons or search for it. I've just got one preset there. I can go Ruger Precision. Again, it's got my image of it. I've got nine in stock. As soon as I go to add that, it's now showing me all of the serial numbers. What I personally really like about this, this screen is it also shows me what date each one of these came in. So I might look at this and go, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I sell this customer the one I've had in stock for the longest. So I just resorted that by date, 27th of, uh, of August, 2020. I've had that one for, for quite a while. I'm going to select that one, go and grab that serial number from, the, from out the back and add that to the transaction. I can then go through, I can link that to, back to the customer. So I'm just going to choose Justin here. Link that to Justin's details. I might discount it at 1099 I'm going to click here and I'll say, yep, I'll give Justin... Uh, let's say percentage off, I'm giving 5% off, still making $400 GP. Yep, so it's discounted it down to 104.4. We might pay by FPOS, so I can hit my FPOS button there. That would link it to my FPOS pin pad, put the figure on there. So all the customer has to do is tap their card. I put my initials in, so it's recording who's doing what transaction, and that would print off my, my receipt for the customer. Um, that's then all recorded in the background. And on the receipt there, you can also see that lists that particular serial number on the bottom of that customer's receipt. Um, so really easy to manage that. That's then tracked that against Justin's details. So at any point, I could jump into the customer screen. I can see all of Justin's transactions there. I can view those and I can actually see the serial numbers of, of any firearms Justin purchased just by clicking through those transactions. Um, really easy to manage that. So if I was getting in more Ruger Precisions into stock, I can simply come back to my main screen and I've got stock and invoice arrivals. Uh, I'm going to receive some in from Niowa, put in my invoice number, and I can come down to the product that I'm receiving. Uh, I know I've just got it in here with the code of Ruger. Yep, that's what I want to receive in. If I was receiving in three of these, I put in my cost, my sell price, I can have a separate web store price, which will automatically update through this process as well. Separate trade price if you sell anything wholesale and that then will receive those into stock. The next step, it's asking me for the serial numbers. 
So I can put in uh, R789 is the first one, R890 and R997. So I can put those serial numbers in. If for whatever reason, I didn't have those handy, I can simply say do not assign and I can password protect that. And that exists in all of these screens for serial numbers as well. So if you're ever selling it and for whatever reason, you don't have it to assign a serial number to, maybe it's a lay by or something like that, you can flag it to not assign. And like I said, that can be password protected as well. So if you don't want every staff member being able to do that, it'll prompt for a password when I select that. Um, I'm just going to save those three in. That'll receive those into stock. That'll queue up some labels and I can print those out for them. Um, so really easy to manage that. As far as setting those toggles on products, um, I do that all from within the stock screen. So I've got all of my information on my route of precision here. I've got serial across the top here and I can see every serial number I've ever received in for Ruger Precision 22, what date they came in, what date they were sold, what transaction they were on. And then I've got my toggles down the bottom here. If I wanna track this particular product, if I wanna track the serial number from arrival, I simply select that, uh, that second option. And if I just wanted to track it at the time of, trans of selling it, that's what the top box is for. Really easy to manage. Um, back on my main screen, I've also got uh, a serial number report here. Uh, that's simply a stock listing report. I can jump in here and say, yep, show me my serial numbers. I could choose a particular department category, just what's in stock or what's out of stock. Um, and I could then print that report. So look, that's your, your serial numbers in a nutshell. Um, if anyone has any questions on that, by all means, reach out to either myself or Justin. Um, we'd be more than happy to answer any uh, any other questions you might have on that. Um, thanks for watching.